Okay, so I have the fair lane on the trailer. I'll run through what I do when I strap a car down. Okay, so two and a half ton straps, as you can see. These wheel straps here is the way you need to do it. You need to have wheel force coming down. So you see how that's in the, not at the center of the wheel, but slightly above. So it's grabbing on there and pulling down. Okay, I'll just run the straps all the way. You don't have to do that. Um, you can just run it to the other side of the guard there. So that gives you forward and backwards. It pulls it this way and it pulls, pull, pulls it down, pulls it that way, pulls it that way and pulls it this way. And then you've got the same deal here on the front one. See how it's just above the center of the wheel? If you strap it around the bottom of the wheel here, okay, it will just fall off. Okay, I've done the same thing on the other side. As you can see, so above the center line and pulling down. And once again, above the center line and pulling down. Now, I'll get some of these purple um, wheel straps and put them onto the Shop King of Tokru site this week if you do want them. Um, and the only other way you can do it. Now, P I do see people getting straps, right? And instead of running this, they'll bring that piece of the strap there back, underneath there, and back that way. Now, there's gonna be a few of you sitting there and go, yeah, it works perfect, it doesn't, okay? If it has worked for you in the past, it will fail. I've tried it, I've done it, I've tried to do it, it will fail. When you tow as many cars as me, you run into all the problems over and over again. He won't have to touch this. He'll drive to the Goldie with this and back and it won't move, like it will not move. It will be fine. The only other way you can do it, right, is if now, if you don't have those wheel straps, you still need to, to get all four corners of the car pulling down and pulling backwards and forwards. So you'd hook a strap around here on the K bar, okay, and you'd head back to that side of the trailer and you do the same from the front that side and go back and then you'd get another strap you'd go around the bottom of the diff here okay so wrap it around the diff or around the spring or around the hang up but get a definite connection and then run that strap cross it over so you'd end up with you'd end up with straps running like that and like that front to back a big cross and that what that's going to do for you is stop the car from moving side to side and backwards and forwards and it can't go anywhere and because it's slightly up and coming down in theory it's holding the car down it's not you know but yeah but it won't move wrapping the things around it tying bits of rope i've seen people have straps crossed up from that corner there straight across and straight across the back there it's doing nothing the car can move forward the car can move backwards fair enough it might be able to go side to side but when they've tied it onto the car here the car actually moves with the suspension so the strap comes tight and light, tight and light. You need to put it on to the diff, all right? Because the diff cannot move unless the top, it has a small amount of tire bounce and that's it. You can't tie it to the body because the body moves with the suspension and then the strap comes loose. So it has to go to the diff or the chassis, like the front end. Now, you guys are gonna have questions. Please put normal questions down below and I'm more than happy to Go through it again and explain to you again. It is very, very important you tie your cars on properly. I can't stress it enough. It is so dangerous if you don't. But, um, you know, let me know. All right, guys, I'll get these plugged. We'll get stuck back into the skyline. I hope that was helpful.